So our absent-minded Uncle Tim, who owned the shop before we did, forgot to put thermal paste on this guy's computer, and now it's overheating, and he wants us to fix it for free! Good morning, and welcome back to the PC shop. PC building simulator, that is. Uh, let's go get the uh, light switch. Watch your step now. We've got c customer computers here in the hallway. I don't know why they put the light switch all the way inside the building instead of right next to the door when you first walk in, right? Doesn't that make more sense? Does to me. Anyway, welcome back. PC building simulator. Good to see you came back. Day three here at the shop. We got a lot of work to do. Good to see that you are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. And, uh, hey, next time you beat me to the office, would you at least get the uh, the coffee going and the radio? The radio cranking. All right. Got some music. Uh, and we don't have a coffee machine, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to dispense with that. Though, I do actually have a coffee right here. And I'm going to have a sip. It is early in the morning. Ah, and it's all about routine. All about routine here. <laughs> Gotta have my Java before we get started. We have three customer computers here on the floor. Audrey has a hot and broken PC. We have to replace the cooler in that one. GSX Jeff dropped off his daughter's computer for a memory upgrade. We actually ordered that, right? I think that stuff is right there. And then lastly, we have the real Harry Osman who needs help quickly. To remove viruses. This is a rush job. He needs it by the end of the 4th of January. What is today anyway? Let's check the calendar. So today is Wednesday the 3rd of January. It's hump day. Halfway through the week. Very nice. And he needs that by tomorrow. The end of the day tomorrow. We'll, we'll probably finish that today anyway. So we'll make him super happy. A day early. Now, normally what I would do is I would grab this computer, put it up on the bench and get that virus scan going. And then we can work on another computer at the same time, right? Multitask, but unfortunately we only have the one bench here. These other benches we haven't unlocked yet. We have to be level three to unlock this bench. And then this one over here, level eight, wow. So I, I guess we'll be able to do that eventually, right? Although these fire scans take like 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, not in real life they don't. Sometimes they can take hours. So let's see, what should we do? We got two, uh, two new jobs here let's do the memory upgrade first for gsx jeff's daughter oh look at that case that's a nice case she must be a gamer yeah this is a new thing we haven't done this yet so that this should, this should be fun and we ordered uh, we ordered the memory too did i pick that stuff up yet oh no we didn't right 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 we got the delivery and we have two eight gigabyte modules here for that computer and a mortoni heat away 120 case fan which i do believe is the wrong item I bought that for this, but I think we need a CPU cooler. But we'll deal with that when we get to it. All right, first things first. Let's work on this PC. We've got to remove the side panel. Oh, look at that. Screwless. Nice. Yeah, very nice little case here. Cooler master case. Sweet. Anyway, let's check out the memory. Bear with me as I re-familiarize myself with the uh, controls here. <laughs> it's been a few days since I played... Yeah, so we have one module in here right now. It's a two gigabyte Mortoni Value Supreme. <laughs> okay, two whole gigabytes. Wow. Actually, I remember the days when I had 8K memory. 8K in an Atari 400 computer. 8K. Your watch has more memory than that. And I remember soldering in a 32K module for an upgrade. Yeah, that goes way, way, way back. Anywho, so we took the two gigabytes out. We want to take that out. We want to install the new stuff. And we did buy it, so it should be here. Yeah, okay, here's the old one that we just pulled out. We can sell that on the black market for seven bucks. <laughs> Great. And we're going to install these two fellers right here. One there, and open these up. And we'll install the next one. And we install these in pairs, so eight plus eight, according to my calculations is 16 gigabytes of ram it sure is that we got the green check mark green means good to go all right we just have to boot it up and make sure that everything's hunky dory and it certainly should whoa 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 why am i squatting get up oh we got to plug in all the cables right plug in all the oh wait a minute you know what we um we upgraded to level two shop in the last episode so i think uh i think we have some kind of auto connect tool my guess is it's gonna going to automatically connect all these cables so we don't have to do each one individually like that because it's kind of a hassle. All right, she's all plugged in. 
Boot her up. Oh, that's what I like to see. I like to see a fan spinning. And there's the desktop. And it looks good. Now, can we actually verify the memory in the system? You know, typically you can look at the control panel, applet, and windows, and then make sure you have your 16 gigabytes of RAM. But I guess we don't have to do that. I mean, it says it right here. Upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So it's all being recognized. It's all good. Let's, uh, let's, uh, well, let's power it down. Spin it around here. Power it down and put the case back on. Side panel for the case, rather. And then leave by the door. And as far as I know, if we just pick this thing up and pull it back. Oops. Nope, not that. Right click. All the cables fall out. <laughs> not the safest way to pull out cables in a computer. But it's only a computer program that works here. Look at that. All boxed up and ready to go. All green. All right. Hopefully, Jeff gets that uh, email. Did we send an email? All right, now we collect the cash. Ready to boot. What is this all about? I don't know, but we can collect the cash. So $320 for that job, minus the money for the shipping and the uh, the RAM itself, which I forget how much we paid for it. But that's a pretty good payday. Oh, what's up here? Got a new message from the doctor says 76 missing thermal paste. Hi there. I bought a PC from you six months ago from Tim and it's been overheating whenever I try to do anything on it. I took a look under the P CPU cooler and there's no thermal paste. What kind of Mickey Mouse business are you running? I demand that you fix this for free and this time test the PC before you send it back out. Regards, Dr. Waterman. So our absent-minded Uncle Tim, who owned the shop before we did, forgot to put thermal paste on this guy's computer and now it's overheating and he wants us to fix it for free. We have an irate customer here. We're going to make good on this, even though it's not really our fault. We didn't touch the computer. It is the shop's reputation, so we're going to handle that for him. We don't want an irate customer out there bad-mouthing the company. Word of mouth is extremely important for a small business like this. And good news travels fast. Bad news travels even faster. <laughs> so we got to make sure we, uh, we fix that for him. And we'll do it for free, of course. No charge. It won't, won't take but a minute. And now let's move on. So what do we have here? This is the real Harry Osmond. This is the uh, the virus scan. All right, yeah, virus scan's no big deal um, because we've already done these several times before. So I think what I'll do is just whip this one up on my own and then um, and uh, we shall reconvene and get to the next job. Man, I love this scanner. It is super fast. Did you see that? About 100,000 files in about three seconds. And zero are infected. This is actually the second time I scanned this computer. The first time, it found 311 infected files, and I cleaned them up. And I just wanted to get a second opinion with, uh, with another scan. Yeah, typically, I would run at least two or three different scanners to make sure I found everything. And not the same program. I would run um, different manufacturers, different software programs. So we're good to go here. This thing is clean. Let's take our USB tool disk out, kill the power, and get it by the door. The real Harry Osmond is going to be so super happy because uh, we're a day early with this thing, right? Yeah, all green. Check it out. Yep, one day early. It's good to make people happy. And it looks like GSX Jeff came by and picked up his daughter's computer. And he didn't even stop in to say hi. Yeah, I guess he was busy. People are busy, right? All right, let's collect our cash. This is easy money, baby. Easy money. $320. Oh, no, that's the old one. <laughs> Here it is. The real Harry Osmond. 200 bucks for a virus. Scan and uh, and cleaning. And there we go. Oh, what's this? We got a new one. D. Darmian at D. D. And D. Associates.com. Upgrade not working. Hey, I recently upgraded my PC, but now it's not working properly. The computer boots okay, but when I try and benchmark it or run a game, the computer crashes. I haven't replaced my PSU. Could my new parts be drawing too much power? Please help, Darmian. So the customers are still doing a bit of troubleshooting for us right now at this stage of the game um, on day three, but I'm pretty sure sooner or later they're just going to drop the computers off and say hey my computer's not working can you figure out what's wrong and fix it for me and that is way more realistic i mean 99.9 .9 percent of the people that drop off computers at a shop like this have no idea what's going on with it but in our case right now we're getting a little guidance and this guy's telling us that he needs a new psu 
a Sheen Power King 600 or better because he upgraded the system, probably a graphics card, and now his uh, his power supply that he has in there right now is not providing enough power. So yeah, we'll obviously take this job, payment 360, and we'll run uh, 3D Mark on it as well to make sure everything's running hunky dory. And why don't we um, why don't we go ahead and order that right now? It's PSU. What was it called? The Sheen Power King 600 watts right here. Now we said we could buy one that's better, but I think that's the most powerful one we have right now. It's 80 bucks. Very good. Throw it in the cart. Now I'm not going to order it yet. We're not going to order anything yet. We're going to wait till the end of the day because we're going to put all of our items that we need on one invoice. So we don't have to pay shipping one time. Some of you had mentioned that in the comments and it, obviously it makes very much sense because this comes off the bottom line, right? And we can even choose three to five working days for only 10 bucks or next day delivery. But since it's a Wednesday, I think we're gonna stick with the next day delivery because I wanna get these computers in, get them fixed and get them out of here before the weekend. That was very important to me in my, my business. When I had my business, I didn't like having computers sitting here over the weekends because I didn't work weekends. So yeah. Um, anyway, uh, we need to order a cooler for this computer, right? Let's pick it up. This is the hot and broken PC, and I'm fairly certain I ordered the wrong thing. Oh my gosh, what a disaster. Look at all that, <laughs> that stuff, that dust in there. Terrible. Why do people do this to their computers? Um, uh, yeah, so this one's a hot and, a hot and bothered PC. We need to replace the air cooler. I ended up buying a case fan for it, but... That's not what we need here. Let's remove this side panel. We need to figure out what kind of fan we need because every, uh, every computer is different, right? We don't know what socket we're looking at here until we pull this one out. So let's unplug this cool that we have in here right now. Oh, it says right there, Mortoni Thermal 100. All right, let's take that out. And what are we looking at? What does that say? Intel Celeron. Oh, oh gosh, hold on. Yeah, Intel Celeron G3900. Well, let's see what we just pull out of here first. And we can go to the cooling, and it shows right here, broken. It's a Mortoni Thermal 100. It works, actually, it works with uh, AMD CPUs and also the Celeron right here, the LGA 1151 is what we want. That's the Intel socket. So, very good. Okay, we'll just buy the same thing if it's available. We'll go over here and get it ordered up. Cooling. Uh, oh, we can. We can buy it right here. Mortoni Thermal 100. The same exact thing. It's only 10 bucks. That's a bargain. All right. Toss it in there. Now, let's go. I guess we can just dust this thing out, right? Install compressed air and just squirt it. Give it a good squirting. Do I have to point to certain spots or does it matter? I guess I do. Yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Blowing it all out. Is that it? Oh no, that little strip right there. Get it, get it. There we go, oh, that did everything. That did the whole darn thing, that one little bit there. Oh, look at that, good as new. It's an NZXT case. It's a pretty good case, pretty good case. All right, now let's just get it off the bench, I guess. There's nothing else we can do with it. Although I suppose we could just leave it right there for now. And I, uh, what do we do today? We're done for the day, it's only 9.51 in the morning. <laughs> Wow, we're done for the day. We just don't have anything left to do. There's no more jobs. Holy cow. We need more business. We need to start advertising or something. Uh, well, let's see. Let's go to the shop and let's order this stuff then. And we'll do next day delivery. Bam, on the way. So, all right, take the rest of the day off, I guess. Yep. Well, let's go. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. <laughs> It's a part-time job here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. We left the lights on, number one, and the radio. <laughs> but I also wanted to check out our new auto connect tool. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Auto connect tool under tools. The desk cables connect themselves automatically when you power the PC on. Oh, that is going to be fantastic. But it's a thousand dollars. Are you kidding me? Holy smokes. Yeah, that ain't cheap, so we're gonna have to start saving up our pennies, but it should uh, it should help us work a little faster, right? We'll be more efficient, and you gotta spend money to make money. It's an investment in the business, and that's what you do. You turn around and you invest some of your profits in the business, 
to run smoother, faster, more efficiently, and become more profitable. Work smarter, not harder, is what they say. And look at all these other unlocks in here. Pretty cool. All right. Well, we're going to have to save up for that one. We don't have $1,000 to blow on that right now. So I guess we're done here. I guess we're done. Wow. Not even a half a day. All right. Let's end the day. I forgot the lights. Oh, I left the lights on, didn't I? Oops. Anyway, here we are. It's day four. We've got D. Darby in the computer, and the doctor says 76. Yeah, this is the one with the thermal paste issue because Uncle Timmy screwed up. And we got our new goodies in here Sheen Power King 600 and a Mortoni uh, Air Cooler 100. Right, very good. Um, let's get this doctor squared away first. I know it's not our fault, but. Oh, geez, hold on. Can I put this anywhere? No, I guess not. Yeah, let's get um, let's get this out of here. Let's pick up Audrey's computer and put it down. I know she's been waiting, but she's not in a rush. The doctor here is a priority. We want to get this thing back out of here and him happy ASAP. And all we have to do here is apply the thermal paste and get it out of here. This is a nice case, NZXT. Wow, check this out. It's a gaming rig, too. Gaming motherboard in there? Yeah, Gigabyte Gaming motherboard. What's this doctor doing in his, uh, in his spare time? Seems like a cool dude. Anyway, let's pull the air cooler out. It's got a Ryzen um, CPU in there, AMD Ryzen. Very, very nice. Now, let's install our thermal paste, which is free. And one little dab will do you. That's it. Pea-sized. Nothing more than that and install that cooler back on here. Oh, look at that, it puts a little uh, a sticky note so we know who it belongs to and we don't sell it on them. That's pretty cool. All right, slap it on there. Bloop. And hook up the cable. Do not forget the cable, otherwise the fan will not operate. Now we gotta boot it up and then run 3D Mark software. All right, well, let's connect all the cables here and I can't wait to get that auto magic Connection tool, power it up, exit, stage left. Oh, we gotta put our tool in here, don't we? I think we have to put our 3D Mark tool in here, unless he has it. I don't know, no, I don't think so. All right, let's put our USB drive, bloop. And hopefully we have a 3D Mark software on there, do we? Oh yes, we do, 3D Mark Advanced Edition. Let's install it. Look at these beautiful doctors. I wonder which one is our, uh, is our guy here. I guess we'll find out when he comes in to pick up his computer. So here's a 3D Mark software. And we're just going to run it. There we go. And what can we do here? It's just running and running and running and running. <laughs> do we have to watch this? Oh, no. I think I stopped it prematurely. Oh, dang it. All right, run it again. Okay, there it goes. I don't know how long this takes. I mean, the virus scanner only took literally three seconds. Uh, can we leave? Oh, we can leave? Look at this. The thing is actually running the 3D Mark software. That's really cool. Is it running? Yes, it is. Oh, this is, uh, this is weird. Oh, oh gosh. What happened? All right, it just changed scene on us. So we're literally running a 3D Mark benchmark software and a virtual computer in a virtual computer PC program on my computer. Interesting. It's still running. Oh, it's done. Okay. Sheesh. <laughs> I guess it passed. Graphics score 3193. CPU score 2645. Uh, I guess it passed. I mean, it passed because it didn't crash. That was the big concern, right? All right, well, that's good news. That's good news. It seems to be okay. Let's power it down. Put the side panel back in. And there we go. Leave by the door. Pick it up. And let's make a doctor happy. This is very important when you have an irate customer. Even if it's not your fault, you know what they say, customer's always right, which isn't necessarily true, but you don't want somebody out there bad-mouthing the business. Consumer advocacy, word of mouth, is the most important form of advertising a small business can have. And we want this guy to come back. We want him to talk about us. We want him to be not just satisfied, but super happy 
So he tells all of his doctor friends and his patients about us in a positive light. Otherwise, uh, he's going to talk bad about us, right? And then uh, we could lose business instead of get new business. So yeah, consumer advocacy is super, super important. And he should be happy. And we're not going to charge him, obviously. In fact, let's just see if that job went through. Missing thermal paste. We'll collect. Well, we're not collecting anything. It's zero. <laughs> we owed him because of our uncle's uh, absent-mindedness. And there we go. Oh, look at that. He got right back to us. And, oh, see? He must have told someone about how awesome we are. And now they want to do business with us, too. Let's see what he says here. Hello there. Thank you for fixing my PC. Since you added the thermal paste, it is running nicely. I didn't realize the business is under new ownership. A good thing, too, I think. I have been impressed with your timely fixing of this issue, so I'm happy to give you another chance. I shall recommend you to anyone that needs work doing. See? Exactly what I'm talking about. This is, this is really how it works. Don't just make them happy. You want to wow them. You just want to blow them away with the best service possible, and uh, they'll come back for more, and they'll tell all their friends about you, too. All right, what do we got here? B. Livingstone at B. Livingstone Wholesale EDU. Oh, it's an educational institution. Available for upgrade work? Question mark. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute. That's not how you spell hey. This is an educational institution, really. <laughs> Looks like they need some work. Are you available to upgrade my computer? I want 4 gigabytes of RAM installed. Can you run 3D Mark to check there's enough power? Sure. Okay, we can do that. Upgrade to 4 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to have to buy that RAM for them. But let's not worry about that right now. I want to get Audrey's computer done here. So let's do that right now. We need to put that air cooler on there. First things first, we got to put the thermal paste on here, right? We don't want to run into the same problem we just had with Dr. Waterman. So there we go. Just enough. And now we install the CPU fan. The new one, not the broken one. And slap it on there. And plug it in. Got to give it power. And that should be good. So let's power it up. Oh, got to plug in all the cables, of course. Didn't do that yet. Okay, now we can power it up. And that's it. Boots up. Perfect. So we are good to go here. Everything looks good. Let's put the side panel back on. Kill the power. Pick it up. Put it by the door. And Audrey's going to be happy. No longer a hot and broken PC. It's cool and clean and ready to rock and roll. Goodbye. Thank you, Audrey, for your business. Let's collect 270 buckaroonies. Oh, we got another one here. See, word of mouth. What'd I tell you? <laughs> Everybody's hearing about that new PC shop. Well, the old PC shop with new ownership. Woodward at TreeGuardians.com. Hi there. I hope you can help. My computer stopped working the other day and now will not turn on at all. Please, can you have a look for me? I think it might be the motherboard. If it needs a new one, I know it needs a Sky Lake socket. Yet again, the customer knows exactly what they need, right down to the very socket. Replace the motherboard. 400 bucks. Sure, I guess so. I guess I should look into how much it's going to cost us for a motherboard before we accept the jobs, right? I mean, if the motherboard's 400 bucks, then obviously we don't want to take this job. All right, I think we have time for one more job. Let's do this one. In fact, this is the only one we can do because we have to buy the other stuff and get it shipped in. That we can get rid of. We're done with that one. Yeah, this one right here for uh, Darmian. D. Darmian. Let's go grab the PC. And we need to install a new uh, power supply in this one, right? Yep, that's the one. Here we go. Oh, it's a little, it's a little guy. This is like a store-bought. Yeah, this is like a little compact or Lenovo or something. <laughs> Cute, isn't it? So let's go ahead and remove the side panel. You know the drill here. Four screws on the side. A lot of these little proprietary computers like Dell's. Oh, look at that. See? That's what I'm talking about. It's the wrong dang side. Uh, Dell, Compaq, etc. They are a pain to work with. They can be. A lot of the components are proprietary, and they're stuffed in here so tightly, it's difficult to work. In fact, a lot of Dells have proprietary power supplies, and you can't just buy them at, like, Newegg or Amazon, for example. you got to go to, like, eBay. But in this case, it's a Sheen Power King 250, and it's actually modular. Wow, check that out. All right, can we uh, pull those cables out? How do we do this? Remove. There we go. Yeah, remove the cables. Make sure we get all of them. 
So just three cables? Just three. Yeah, it's a 250 watt power supply. I don't know what the upgrade was that this guy put in here, but 250 is not very much. Oh, here's a cable over here I missed. Yep, there we go. So I had four cables plugged into it, right? Remember that. We've got four screws here on the bottom of the rig, of course. Again, not easy to work with these things. These little mini computers can be a hassle. All right, it's out. Let's install the new one. Power supply right here. This is the new one. That's the one we pulled out, right? It's used. We can sell that for $7 on the black market. Let's put in the new 600 water. Bam. Perfect fit. Screw it in. Nice and tight. Okay. And then we hook up the cables. You got to love the modular power supplies because you can just keep the cables in the system. And all you got to do is run it to the power supply when you replace it with the new one. So, yeah, it makes it much, much easier to reconnect after you reinstall. It's a little tricky to identify which of these connectors we're looking for. Oh, there we go. We got the panel that shows this little pop-up panel. Yep, that's the hard drive cable. Plug that in and... All right, that looks good. Everything's plugged back in again. Now we just have to boot up and run the 3D Mark benchmarking software. So we're not going to put the side panels back on just yet. Let's get the thing plugged in. All right, exit out of that view. Oh, look at that. This customer actually has a 3D Mark Advanced Edition benchmark software already on the system. It's going to run a graphics test and a CPU test. And if it crashes, then we know we still have a problem. Otherwise, everything should be good to go. Got a 600 watt power supply in there now, man. Should be plenty. Oh, no. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I scooped it up off the desk while it was running. Oh, dang it. That's not what I wanted to do. Wrong click. Left click, right click. Yeah. Accidents like that don't actually happen. Because in real life, you don't click things to pick them up. You actually use your, you know, hands. So let's try that again. Power up. All right. Back in operation. What I wanted to do was left click and then spin it around this way so I could watch, but can't really turn it all the way around anyway. Oh well. All right, good enough. Let's let it run. That does take about a minute and a half or so. Unlike the virus scan, we actually have to wait for that guy. In the meantime, let's order our RAM for this job and the motherboard for this job. We need a Skylake socket motherboard. Let's see what we got for motherboards here. They're all Skylake LGA 1151s. Let's just get the cheapest one then, which is the $100 jobby right here. All right, sure. And we needed memory for the other job, which was a four gigabyte upgrade, right? Oh, we got this one down here. Mortoni Value Supreme, $40. One module, that's the one we want right there. Let's throw it in the cart and check the cart. Next day delivery. Wait, what is today? Today's Thursday, right? We'll get it tomorrow. We'll get these out the door before the weekend, right? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Buy it. All right, let's go check that 3D Mark software. It's done. Benchmark is complete. Computer didn't crash, didn't lock up, didn't shut down. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Power it down. And let's get that side panel back in here. Screw it on and get this thing out of the shop and get paid. All right. Pick it up. Bring it by the door. And leave it for our friend Darmian. And he's going to be super happy. That was a quick job. Quick turnaround, huh? Look at that. We are cooking with gas here now, baby. Let me tell you. Let's collect the cash. 360 bucks. Not too shabby. Now we're up to $1,325 in the bank account. We're level two. Almost level three. Maybe tomorrow we'll hit level three when we do these other two jobs. And no more emails coming in. All right. I guess we're good for the day. All right. Close down the email program. Shut off the music. Kill the lights. And let's get out of here. Let's get to the coffee shop. I'll buy you one. End the day. And that's it. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, look at this new computers here. Woohoo. Okay. Can't wait. Bye-bye. Have a good day.
Hope you enjoyed.